Can you imagine a world in which there was a single rate for each parking garage? Neither can the garage owners. Whoa, those are some complicated rates. Fortunately, we can use code that behaves differently based on the values of certain variables. Let's see how while determining the parking fee for this garage. We'll assume the variable hours stores the number of hours parked. If hours is less than or equal to one, then the parking fee is zero. But if hours is greater than one, the fee is $5 for each hour after the first. So we need code that computes the value of a variable fee based on the number of hours parked. How can we do this? An if else statement enables us to perform different computations based on a set of rules or conditions we provide. It begins with the keyword if followed by an expression that must evaluate to either true or false. Next is a block of code that executes if the expression evaluates to true, while code after the else keyword executes if the expression is false. The end keyword denotes the end of the if else statement. For example, if we parked for half an hour, the result is fee equals zero because the expression in the if statement is true. But if hours is three, the code following the else keyword is executed and fee is 10. Of course, often we have more than just two possibilities. What do we do if there are three or more? In this case, we use the keyword else if to add as many conditions as our application requires. Just like the if keyword, the expression after else if must evaluate to true or false. So now, if hours is three, the if condition is false and execution moves on to the else if expression. This condition is true, so the code in the else if block is executed and fee is 10. However, if we parked for nine hours, both the if and else if conditions are false and fee is 35. And there you go. We can now write code that behaves differently based on a set of conditions. I just wish I had taken the bus.